sitting here now for the rest of the class. Ata Krishna Bodo
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have the idea. Mm -hmm. Which song? Which song? Uh, Bol, Hay, Bol. <laughs> Oh, 
Krishnaya Krishna Bhaktaya Tadabhaktaya Namo Bhaktya Vihina Parada Daksaik Siddhasa Kamadi Tarangamate Kripa Maitang Saranang Papana Vande Namaste Charana Vandam Mansa Kripa Tupetang Kripa Sindhu Perivachang Patita nam pavanito Vaishnavito namo nama. So it is said, Bachan Vaishiranartam Nastakwa Takura Vaishnava Pada Avanira Susamada Sunavai Hoya Ekaman. Asaya Tuviya Bhatse Tari Nai Krishna Nahi Tyache Arasava Mare Akavana. And the uh, lotus seed of the pure Vaishnavas are the only wealth, the only treasury in this world. And those who take shelter of Vaishnavas. They will never be forsaken by Krishna. Everyone else dies without any um, purpose and any use. So this is very significant, this statement. Everyone in this world, all living entities, all souls in this world, they are on, on their own. And they are um, fighting with this mature energy, Maya, but they have no chance because this Maya, this Daivi Maya, it is Krishna's energy and it is uh, very difficult to overcome. Daivi Yesha Guna Mai Mama Maya to Attaya Mam Ivaye Papatante Mayam Itam Tante So our position in this world is like falling in a deep, wide ocean. We don't have any strength for swimming, means we don't have any pious activities. We don't have any knowledge, gyan. We don't have any yoga, tapasya. Uh, we don't know where to swim. Uh, always the different crocodiles uh, of Kam, Kod, Lop, Amoa, Mata, Matraja, they are attacking us. The waves of material existence, they are sometimes, sometimes throwing us down, sometimes lifting us up. Uh, and there's no chance to come out. People in this world have this idea, I want to become happy, and they make different plans how to become happy. And they take shelter of their money, uh, of their um, family, of their own bodily strength, of their intelligence, or their followers. Uh, but this is all compared like trying to cross the ocean by taking shelter of the tail of the dog. Dog hardly can swim himself. If you hold the tail of a dog and you think you will cross this ocean of material existence, then uh, you die all the quicker, uh, all the faster. So in this way, everyone in this world is alone, all the souls, and they're making big plans. I want to become happy, and no one ever gets happy in this world. But those who are very, very fortunate, they will take shelter of the Vaishnava. Asraya loya bhaji tari krishna nahi tachi arasava mari akarani. If we take shelter of the Vaishnavas, then everyone will become our friend. Because Krishna, he will not forsake us. And Krishna he is the soul of all existence. It means that Krishna uh, takes care of us. Everyone else but everything else in this world also becomes favorable for us because everything is Krishna. But if we uh, don't take shelter of Vaishnavas, 
then whatever we do in this world, we are uh, bound to be lost. So is this uh, guidance of Vaishnavas, is it only for some time, or is it eternal? Uh, sometimes they think, okay, I have one guru, and uh, now no need for me to take shelter anywhere, because my guru uh, has initiated me, and now I'm mm, liberated. <laughs> But this is not any good idea, because uh, are we following mm, the dictation of God, or are we following the dictation of our mind? Are we qualified that Guru Dev is always there and speaking to us directly? Uh, or are we following our minds and our uh, uncontrolled senses? If this is so, then who will deliver us from this world? and how to swim over this ocean. We follow our own ideas, our own mind, it will not be possible. Therefore, uh, the guidance, therefore, in Rupa Goswami's Upatishamita, we see that almost every shloka, the uh, necessity of uh, Sadhusanga and Vaishnav association is uh, uh, emphasized. First shloka, we want to control the senses, we have to take shelter of that personality who has, is in control of the senses, who is a guru for the whole world. Mm. Second sloka, uh, Asa Sangha, Chana mm. Sangha destroys Bhakti. In third sloka, uh, the give up the association, mm. Sangha Tyaga of worldly people. This will help us in Bhakti. Fourth shloka, if you want to advance anything in Bhakti, you have to relate, develop a relationship with Vaishnavas. Tadati Pratikinati, Guyam Akkadrishati, Bhumte, Bhotsayati, Shaiva, Shadvitam, Vritilakshanam. That relationship with Vaishnavas is not external, but it is internal. Without this internal, a mamata for Vaishnavas, and um, surrendering our life to them, and, de and then taking responsibility for us, for our life, uh, it's not possible to advance in bhakti. We can never become Madhyam Bhakta if we don't develop this transcendental relationship with Vaishnavas. Then the next sloka, again, um, how to respect Vaishnavas properly, and how to follow all Vaishnava etiquette, how to respect Kanishka Bhaktas, Madhya Bhaktas, Uta Bhaktas. If we don't learn how to respect Vaishnavas, then we cannot uh, advance in Bhakti. Next sloka again. Uh, never commit the mistake of seeing any Vaishnava as an ordinary person. Mm. Uh, not understanding his transcendental position. Yeah, first, we understand the transcendental position of Vaishnavas, then we can understand the transcendental position of Krishna and Krishna's associates. Mm -hmm. And then after that, if we cross all these stages, then Tishtan Bhaje Tat Anuragi Tanandami Kalamnayet Akiram Ityupadesh Taram. Then we must take a shelter of Rasik Guru. Uh, Shiksha Guru, who will teach us the confidential service to Sri Radha Krishna. But even then, we remain under guidance, not even if we continue more, even if we, one day we will come in the spiritual world, there also we will be under guidance uh, and we will follow our superiors. So that process to always be under guidance, it is an uh, eternal process. There's uh, not any place for independent activities in the Krishna consciousness. And um, if we take Vaishnava Sangeetiman Anandita Anukshan Sada Hoy Krishna Parasanga. If we always remain in the association of Vaishnavas, we will always become Anandit, we will become completely 
happy and every moment. And we will uh, hear about Krishna and be in Krishna's association. Vaishnavas are very merciful, even if you have millions of faults, even if you have so many desires, even if you have so many anatas. But if we remain in the care of Vaishnavas, then they will take away all these bad things. This is their power, and they have this power. I'll be saying today two times. Um, Chaya Vega Dumi, Chaya Dosa Sudhi, Chaya Buna Deodati, Chaya Tatanga Deoi Ame, Posechi Sangya Vase. Then, next time. Ekati Amava, Nahi Payavala, Hari, Nama Sanketan. If I am not under guidance of Vaishnavas, I have no power to do any bhajan. No, no. Not possible. No. Uh, by the mercy of Vaishnavas, the power will come to chant the holy name. And Krishna said, Toma, <coughs> Krishna, the te power, Toma, Shakati, Achi. It is in your power to give Krishna. If I want Krishna, only by following you I can give Krishna, otherwise not. So, uh, in this way, uh, Navatam Dastako, he is glorifying the association of Vaishnavas. And uh, this is our, like we heard this morning, five processes of bhakti, most important. Mm -hmm. The first of these is Sadhu Sangha. Before, in Bhagavatam, we hear nine, nine processes of bhakti are there. Mm -hmm. But Sangha, Sadhu Sangha, not clearly mentioned there. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, uh, he gave uh, the emphasis on Sadhu Sangha. Mm. Therefore, he said, first of all, Sadhu Sangha Nam Kirtan Bhagavad Shravan. Uh, first of all, Sadhu Sangha. And if you want to do any of the other processes of Bhajan, only in Sadhu Sangha, otherwise, it will not be possible. So, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he emphasized so much on this uh, um, uh, aspect of.
Nechtěli dál pro Vyšnu Vyšnu Páč, močeru Bhakti Vedanta, Šuna Nájem, Gosvami Maláš. Nechtěli dál pro Vyšnu Vyšnu Páč, Všem močeru Bhakti Vedanta, Všem dál Gosvami Maláš. Ola, Aro, Vauva, Rupa, Noga, Burva, Gala, Vyšnu Vačaje, Zom, Vyšnu Vem, Vyšnu Vyze, Dez, Vyšnu Vypad, Bhakti Vedanta, Von Manuel, Bhakti Vedanta, Vyze, Maláš, Přizak se mají dan dovat praná, Pěkým pojou pozna smrsi. Can I allow Prabhu spoke about the importance of uh, being in association with sadhus? They are our guardians. Through them we get all medicine to cure the disease of material existence, or Shadi Maya. Uh, they transmit the message since time immemorial. So they are the only shelter and only connection with the Supreme Personality of God. Therefore, their association has been glorified in every sculpture, every places. So it's very important to uh, to be aware of the importance of the see that uh, some people they uh, rather read books than to hear from sadhu. They think reading books is also sadhu sangha. Yeah? But what's the difference? The difference is that the book is very important when there is no sadhu sangha. <laughs> when there is sadhu sangha, no read book, the sadhu is the open book. He can speak everything which is in the book. Huh? But with life, with energy. The book has no life. If you don't know anything, uh, how the book will know that you don't know anything? If you read a chapter and you don't understand the chapter, what is written in the, in the book, then the book will not tell you, oh, you didn't understand this. You have to go back and again read and read again. No? So, the sadhu he knows everything. Prabhupada used to say, sadhu will catch your ear and will slap you if you don't follow properly. Uh, but the book will not do that. So the book is passive, uh, and the sadhu, he gives life to the words of the book. Then everything becomes very, very powerful, very interesting. So sadhu sangha has been glorified. Sanatana Goswami said that even if you worship 10,000 shila, uh, but you don't go to Harikata in Sadhu Sound, then it's all useless. Completely, completely useless. If you water a tree which has been cut into pieces, you will never get anything from that dead tree. So in the same way, whatever you do in spiritual life, if you distribute millions of books, if you distribute uh, Parshadam, but you don't do salusang, then everything is useless. You know, one time I show a list of the devotees who won the marathon, uh, the last marathon on earth for Shri Prabhupada. You know, we won the French devotees. But I show the list to Gurudev. I said we won, and Gurudev said, where are they now? And I realized, yes, nobody's left. They're all gone. Only one person left. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Must be. How you say in English? I'm, pr I'm trying to glorify Sadhu Sangha. I'm not trying to. There's a lot of distraction in this room. Ananda. Ananda. So, yes, yeah. there were some yogis, very powerful. They did austerities for 10,000 years under a lake. They pleased Lord Vishnu. Lord Vishnu came and was ready to give any benedictions to them. They came out and then they had the darshan of Lord Vishnu. And Lord Vishnu said, what will please you? What should I give you as benedictions? And what they asked? They asked for Sadhu Sangha. Can you believe? 
They are in front of God. Sadhu Sangha is meant to give you God. <laughs> but still, <laughs> they ask for Sadhu Sangha. Because, you know, Sadhu Sangha, at, at least you will be 100% sure that will, you get God. But if you have God in front of you, you don't know if you can keep it or not. He may disappear the next moment. <laughs> That's why some people, they say, I have seen God. There is nothing as wrong as this. Because somebody who has seen God will never tell. Huh? Because those who have seen God, uh, first of all, you have to speak about what means to see God. There are different, different types of uh, uh, conceptions about this. But God is very, very tricky. Why is he curved in three places? Uh, his nature is very, very tricky. He can appear in front of you, and then you think you have uh, achieved all, all uh, perfections, then next moment disappear, and you will, re re you will mind, you will, uh, you will think, did I see him or did I dream? I'm not sure. You know? So it's not so easy to see God in that way. But Sadhu will take you to God, uh, and you will be able to stay there. Uh, like Narada Muni, one time, he saw the Pandavas, they were speaking with Krishna inside of a room. And he said, oh, this is my opportunity. He knocked at the door, then Yudhishthira Maharaj came, opened the door, he said, oh, Naradji, what can I do for you? Naradji Muni said, I want the mercy of Lord Krishna. Then Yudhishthira took his hand, put him inside, and then he went to Krishna's, then he took the hand of Krishna and put on top of the head of Narada Muni without asking Krishna's permission. Can you believe? Huh? So, everything possible uh, in Guru Sangha, Sadhu Sangha. Uh, they have all power. Krishna says, they are non different than me. You cannot even criticize them. Uh, so, this is very important. And the lacking of being, having a master has been also uh, spoken, spoken about. Very, very, very dangerous thing to be without a guardian or a master. Even Vishwanath Chakravati Thakur said, my name, Vishwanath Chakra Bharati, means I am like a dog. Vishva, Vishva means dog. Vishva means universe. I am like a dog in this universe. Chakravarti. Vishwanat, not means master. And chakra means rotating. I am like a dog without a master rotating in this universe. This is the meaning of my name. So how? <laughs> no? True, Maharaj. Huh? I didn't you didn't know? Ah. <laughs> Which Purana? Which Purana? <laughs> Careful. Don't play around. <laughs> so one time there was a cow lost herself and for grazing. Which one means dog? Huh? Swa means dog. Swa. Swa. Rotra. What's the name? Swa. Pacha. Swa. There's a verse like this. Vishwa. Swa means dog. Bish means mass, means universe. Huh? Any pundit told you, huh? Huh? Any pundit told you. I have heard this also much. Ah. Oh, this is. Kanaya is Can my real friend. Thank you. Thank you, Kanaya. Protected me. This is the power of Sadhu Sangha. Yeah, power of Sadhu Sangha. He will protect you. Sadhu Sangha. He will protect you. And I will tell you, tell you a story about this protection. So the cow was lost and went for grazing, going further and further away. Then, unfortunately, stepped on the sand. How do you say? Quicksand. Quicksand. Quick Step on the quicksand. Then going more and more. Then realize, oh, I got stuck. Then trying to get out of the quicksand, but the opposite effect comes. Then as you push, you go down instead of going out. So the cow, the cow was starting to, I say, move. 
And then the father, huh? Calf. Baby calf. And then nearby jungle, a tiger was there. He thought, listening to the cow mooing, so this is my meal calling me. Then he approached slowly, slowly, where to the cows were stuck in the quicksand. Then, not knowing anything, he also stepped in the quicksand. And very soon he was also stuck there. He couldn't move out. So both were frying. Cow was mooing, and the tiger was roaring. Cub. Then the nose of the two brought the attention of the nearby villagers. They thought, what's going on there? Some cow is uh, crying desperately. So they approached, and one farmer, he recognized that my cow now has got lost and got caught in the quicksand. So he took a rope, and he threw it, and caught the horns of the cow, and he took it out with the help of the other farmers. But when it came to the tiger, they said, no, <laughs> sorry, we're not going to catch that by <laughs> that's wild animals. Because if we pull him out, he will jump on us and he will kill us. Huh? So they decided to kill him. They said, if we kill him, then we can sell the nails, we can sell the teeth, we can do so many things with it. And we will be out of danger. So that's what they did, you know. So what is the morality of the story? is that the cow belongs to somebody. Huh? So therefore, that person has taken care and take the cow out of danger, protected her and put it her in a safe place. The cow was saved. But the tiger has no master. He is completely independent. Huh? So instead of being saved, he was killed. Huh? So this is the difference. So we should be always under master. Uh, devotees want to have as many masters as possible. Not only one or two, three, four, many, many masters. Then they feel secure, they feel safe. This master will tell me this, this master will tell me that. No, no time to go into my... But uh, materialist people, they want to have many, many servants. As many servants they have, they feel more and more powerful. So it's a completely different world, topsy-turvy. So we belong to the world of being under the protections of master, not under the uh, conceptions of having servants. Huh? Because if we think we are masters, then we are in trouble. We are in competition with the real master, Krishna. Then our life will become like a nightmare. And we see outside this in this world, our people are suffering so many problems because of these ideas of being a master. You know? So devotee likes to be uh, under protection, under direction, submissive, humble, tolerant and everything. And then they feel like they are safe. Like the little kitten in the mouth of the cat, he feels very safe. But the same rat in the mouth of the same cat, he feels very, very scared to death, you know. So, Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Sangha, Salva Sadiyoye, Lava Matra Sadhu Sangha, Salva Sadiyoye. By, by Sadhu Sangha, yeah, we have all chances to achieve perfection one day. Yeah. And Sadhus are very, very merciful. They're looking at us. How will these persons make progress? Yeah. We should feel uh, that we need Sadhu Sangha. Otherwise, we are lost in the world of wilderness. You know? There is no hope for us. You know? We should feel this. So, I will stop here. Thank you so much for your.
Jinam Jana Salakaya Chaksayam Jena Tasmaya Shigurayam Shura Bhartam Radhika Tarai Krishna Krishna Bhaktaya Tasvaktaya Namo Namo Shri Chaitanamo Vishtam Stapitam Jinam Tarai Svayam Uppa Tadamayam Vakrishadam Kirtam Sometimes Similarly, the Lord's feet are my success in the aspiration of Bhakti Vedanta and the Sangharaj, taking for his countless mercy. And all the Vaishnava Charyas and Allah, Nashi Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who have come into this world to rescue the fallen souls who have deviated from their dharma. So, I don't know. So, we have Bhagavad Gita, the Krishna says to Arjuna, in chapter 8, chapter 10. <laughs> in the discussions of my foreign personality and qualities and pastimes, the devotees are <coughs> completely enlivened and become so satisfied and nourished that they can hardly stop. Satamba Sangha Mama Viri, Vatsam Viro, Vatikit Kana Rasa Kataha. If this is continuous, like here, morning and night, we're hearing and relishing. And similarly, our predecessors like Rupa, Ashanata, and Nimbun Braj were also relishing Katha together. So much so. Uh, Shimati Rani could understand they are not taking a break for anything, not even eating, drinking. So she approached and offered some ingredients for preparing a meal. Still, they were engaging in Hari Kata. So she was disguised as a young uh, girl. So they didn't, you know. I think, oh, here's Sri uh, Shakti Shimati Ravani. That's a very girl saying, oh, you should take something to eat. They continue talking throughout the afternoon, becoming so uh, satisfied with each other that they didn't even bother cooking what she had brought. So then, Radharani is in disguised form, again came back and cooked an opposite to Rupa and Shanati. So, this is the nature of Hari Kata. You, you lose uh, all uh, attachment to the bodily necessities, eating, sleeping. Uh, and Mahaprabhu with his devotees in the night. And Shiva Shangam will continue throughout the whole night. Chani, Kiri, Velishim. So, uh, there is uh, that relationship between the speaker and the hearer where if the hearer is if the audience is eager to hear and attentive, then the speaker becomes more enlivened. If there is a submissive oral reception, somebody hearing with attention, 
Then the speaker is more enthused to speak. And then the hearer is more enthused to hear. <coughs> so, uh, there may be also reasons why sometimes. Like in the story of Dundakari, who was uh, in a fun, unfortunate situation, living as a ghost inside a stalk of bamboo, he was so much enthused to hear Bhagavatam uh, from his brother Kukarna, and knowing that that katana will release him from his bondage. So we should know, yes, this katana will release me from my bondage to this body and to this world and promote me to to Goloka. So how much eager we should be to hear. And these kathas of the sadhus go on continuously from planet to planet, universe to universe. Like Kapila and his da, mother Devahuti. So much of the Bhagavatam is their katha. Um, because Rupa and Sanatan sitting before Mahaprabhu Shri Chaitanya, hearing his explanation of tattvas. So, Krishna also says in Gita, between guru and disciple, tadviri paripanina paripashtane shivaya pura parakshane kriyanam kanya sakta daishana. There should be submission, service, and inquiries. Along with this, uh, mm -hmm. uh, eagerness to hear, submissive oral reception. So when all those combinations go together, then there is a great fruit of the kata in the hearts, change. And as Maharaj was speaking today, actually this morning, the kata value is there. The heart doesn't melt. And tears and I don't come to the eyes. So, the most fortunate I have is the combination of expert speaker, and you're eager, enthused to hear the kata, and then the heart will be uh, melted and uh, the symptoms of uh, ecstasy will manifest.
अभजानी ब्रह्म संहिता ब्रह्मा जी हिमसेल्फ ऑल्सो टोल ये सदद्वीप कथा और महाप्रभु कथा वेरी फ्री पर्सन जीवन ये चीत बिरला च अवजानंती ये चीज मैंने बहुत वेरी फ्री पर्सन दे नो अबाउट महाप्रभु सदद्वीप कथा तो यह कृष्णदास के भी राज गोस्वामी ऑल्सो स्पेन यहाँ नहीं बुझे सुनीते सुनीते से अद्भुत चेतन चले इफ यू नॉट अंडरस्टैंड जस्ट टू लिसन एगेन एंड एगेन देन बाय द कॉजलेस मार्शल लॉर्ड चेतन का महाप्रभु देन ऑटोमेटिकली यू रियलाइज देन कृष्णे उपजीवे प्रति जानी भी सहज सहज जरी थी व्हेन योर रियलाइजेशन विल कम अबाउट लॉर्ड चेतन का महाप्रभु देन ऑटोमेटिकली हैव लव एंड अफेक्शन विल कम टुवर्ड कृष्ण एंड देन यू जानी भी रसिर रीति देन यू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज द रस माधुर्य इन कृष्ण लीला देन सुनले ही बड़ो होई हिट बट इफ यू लिसन देन योर लाइफ विल बी सक्सेसफुल देन बिकॉज गौर लीला वेरी कॉन्फिडेंस देन इन ब्रह्म संहिता ब्रह्मा जी और शेष लास्ट बार इस बंदी से ये चीज बुरला चा अब जानती से तो दीपम से तो दीप कथा वेरी फ्री पर्सन देने मोस्ट ऑफ़ द पीपल दे नो अबाउट भागवत कथा दिस वेरी प्रोमिनेंट ये भी गो ब्रिंदावन और इंडिया ये भी हर पैसले इन दिस मंथ दिस मंथ इस कॉल पुरुषोत्तम मंथ है their tradition purusottam man most of the people they want to listen bhagavat katha bhagavat saptah every then if you go vrindavan navdeep dham or jagannath puri then let's see very difficult to find out one pandit is not free free all panditas complete were in this and booked and six months and one year before स्पेशली Two years, eight months will come. So for this regard, everyone want to listen Bhagavat, Bhagavat Sapta, Bhagavat Sapta. Yeah. And there's so many also glorification about Bhagavat Sapta. If you listen Bhagavat seven days, Bhagavat Katha, then you will attain your highest perfection. So for this regard, and if you go Vrindavan or anywhere, Vrindavan in India, yeah, you can see. You cannot find out one pundit is free. Bhagavat, because Bhagavat is very prominent. Everybody knows, but very few you know those who are Chaitanya Saptah, seven days. They say Chaitanya Mahapurush. Because this is very very confidence. So Brahma Ji also explained Brahma Samhita. Achit Brilla Cha Abu Janamsi. यार कृष्णदास कविराज गुस्सामी और सुई क्यों हो नहीं बुझे क्यों हो नहीं सुनी ते क्यों हो सुनी तो सिर्फ अद्भुत चैतन्य चलो चैतन्य महापुरुष जी लाभ है सुई हैं सुन इगार ने सुई काम इससे आउट हैं तो जस्ट आई आल्सो एक बंदी हैं ये गौर कथा पायो राशि गौर सुंदर कथा इज एज लाइक द कंडेन मिल्क हैं कंडेंस मिल्क क्या थी गोगुरो कथा पायो राशि कृष्ण राज ताही वासी आनी आजी उम्री तेरे दार हैं कृष्ण राज कभी राज गुस्सा में मैनिफेस्टे द स्ट्रीम ऑफ नेक्टर हैं सही काप्पा सुधा पाने एंड जस्ट ड्रिंकिंग द स्वीट नेक्टर इन इस ग्रंथ चैतन्य चैतन्य मृत्यु दे बच्चनों फाट कंप्लीट वर्ड को and also again and again drinking sweet nectar 
But Mahaprabhu sometimes he used to go the shop of Sila Sridhar eh? without paying money eh? and taking his vegetables. And especially two vegetables of Mahaprabhu eh, took. One is called banana flowers and white pumpkin. That is called Loki. 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 Loki, white pumpkin actually. Then Siddhari asked Nimai every day he used to come here. Eh? I am poor Brahmana. Eh? And my eh? every day I took bhav. You want every money, get money, that money I worship, eh? Ganga Puja. Eh? And then other money, I also maintain my family. I am so feeding the Brahmanas, others. But we are not paying anything, and you are taking by force. Eh? Understand? That time, Siddhar and Mahaprabhu quarreling to each other. That is called Prema Kala. Eh? Prema Kala. Eh? If you go Mayapur, very close to there also, eh? that is called Siddhar house in there, Siddhar Kala. Eh? So Mahaprabhu told, no, no, you are not poor. Who told you are poor? You are very rich. So for this regard, I am taking. You have premadhan, Krishna premadhan. Externally, some person penniless, but internally he has so much wealth. What is that? Krishna premadhan. Krishna se tomar, Krishna di te paro, tomara so kotiyachi. Ar amito kangalo, Krishna Krishna boli, harito popache paache. Hare Krishna dhaner dhani tumi, Hare Krishna premer kangal ami. You understand? Yeah, Krishna premer dhani tumi. You are rich. In Krishna prayer, and I am poor. Dog. Dog. I am poor. That means I have no Krishna prayer now. I am very poor. Then so saying this word, Krishna prayer, dhani tumi. You are rich in Krishna prayer. And Krishna prayer, kangal ami. Kangal means poor. Then so what is it? Krishna te to mar. Krishna di te paro. Hare Krishna Premer Dhani to me, Krishna Premer Kangal Ami, Dhai Tabo Pache Pache. Vaishnav, they are singing this. So, Mahaprabhu has so much love and affection. For this regard, they are good. Vanda Vanda Thakura is playing this way. Because Siddhar has so much love and affection with Lord Chaitanya. Bhakti Drabba Prabhu Kari Kari Khai or Bhakti Drabba Prabhu Roti Na Chai. Who is pure devotee, Lord, by force day. Eh? Understand? And it is. Are you non devotee? Prepare many kinds of preparation offering to Lord. But Lord does nothing. Does nothing. Eh? Durjodhan, he prepared many kinds of preparation offered to Krishna in golden plate. And so they get that golden plate. But Krishna did not. But Krishna came in the house of Vidur. And that time Vidur was not in house. Then wife of Vidur, and in her house nothing. That she brought one banana. banana. When we die, banana will be three, four days, completely black. And then she also filled banana and throw the inside. 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 Yes. Our she was and feeding to banana. Because pray 
Then in the meantime, Vidur, he came. Vidur said, hey! So he why? He, what is he doing? Then Krishna stopped. Hey, don't disturb to her. I am not eating banana. What are you eating? So for this degree, Bhakti Drabba Prabhu Kari Kari Khai A Bhakti Drabba Prabhu Kari Kari Khai So I am saying, because Siddhar Well, Siddhar, Niyar Sen Jair Sular Chaitanya Mahaprabhu For this degree, by course, he used to go his shop and take it, two things Mocha Khandra and Mocha Mocha means that banana flower Understand? And if you cook you cannot believe what kinds of taste in <laughs> Because Mahaprabhu, he likes. You know how to cook. It is difficult to cook also. <laughs> and what's it? Salagram Narayan Sila. Then Sachimata, she offered, then sitting outside of the temple room. Then she is remembering about Nimai. He said, Nimai, today would hear. Then Nimai must be asked, Mom, give me these two subjects. <laughs> but Nimai is not here, who is it? Then Sachimata is crying and crying and thinking about Nimai. That's the law. And, and all Krishna, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Nimai, Bhaksala, and the childhood past him automatically manifest in his heart. Then our way, saying, Dekha, Dekha, Yasi, Jatana, Devasi. Amar Gaurang Chandi Dekha Dekha Yasi Jatana Devasi Amar Gaurang Chandi Are Prabhate Uthiya Anchala Dhariya Nani Me Dema Boli Kandi Then Khudar Jalai Pran Jai Ma Jede ma noni de One, early in the morning And baby Nimai Maybe three years old, three or four years old He wake up And he told to Sachi Mata, Mom, Mother Give me Or give Butter I am very hungry Sachi Mata, she told Ami nahi ba, ami nahi go alini, kotha paapo no ni, eki vi sam ho ilo. Sachi Mata, she told, I am not Gaugat ladies, Gualini. Mostly in the house of Gaugat, their house is always milk products. Milk, butter, yoga, everything. But I am Brahmani in my house. No? Butter. So Sachi Mata Si told, Nimai keep passion. When sun rises, then I will go to the house of milkman, then I will bring butter for him. But Nimai what is saying? No. Mother, now. Now will give. So Sachi Mata Si say, Dekha dekha yasi, jatana devasi, amara gauranga chandi. Are prabhate uthiya, anchala dhariya, nani de ma boli kandi. Khudar jalai pran jai ma, dede ma nani de. Sachi Mata, she is calling the others. Residence, eh? Nobody. So saying, look, my baby Nimai, what is doing? Nimai, Nimai is rolling on the ground and saying, Mom, Mother, give me, but I just now. Otherwise, I will die. I am very hungry. Eh? Sachi Mata says, saying, Amare Nimai Buji, Bajeve Nare, Are Khuda, Are Jalai. Nimai buji bhaanje ve nare Sachi Mata is crying So maybe my Nimai will die Nimai is our people of I And now Nimai is hungry Nimai is saying, Mom, Mother, give me just no butter As Sachi Mata pacified to him, Nimai keep patient I will bring butter for you, where? 
sun but you might say no just now the same sachi mate singh what to do now ek ek bisham hoy hai big problem hai ka what to do now big calamity hai ka he so saying dekho dekho aasi jata na devasi amar gorang chandi prabhate uthiya anchala dhoriya noni de ma boli kaandi ami nahi go alini kotha pabononi eki bi samo hoilo are sunechi purane sachi mata si saying is his bars i heard from puran mein bhagwat what did he say kya suna sunechi purane सुनेची पुराने नंद भवन कृष्ण राय I heard from Srimad Bhagavat, Krishna he came in the house of Nanda Maharaj, and Krishna also very stubborn, and he was very stubborn. Krishna told Mom, I am hungry, just now. I said, my son, the same thing. Do you sune chhe pura ne nande ro bhavo ne is chilo Krishna rai. So Krishna did the same thing, and my son. is asking this thing eh mm-hmm. but nanda maharaj and jasomati man they were cowherd mm-hmm. person eh mm-hmm. in their house milk yogurt all kinds of things eh mm-hmm. but i am brahmani such mati i am brahmani in my house no no milk no yogurt no <coughs> but i know my son is telling me so saying sune chi purane नंदे भवने इसे छीलो कृष्ण राय एक दिन प्रभाती उठिया त्रिभंग होइया से जे मुरली बाजय एन वन डे अर्ली इन द मॉर्निंग निमान ते भी निमान ही वेक्स अप एंड सी आल्सो थ्री एंड फोर एंड प्ले द सुची माता सिस्टर की माय सन My son is not Krishna. Hey, are Krishna came in the dynasty of Kaur dynasty, of course. But my son, hey, is playing flute. So it's one day, Prabhati utiya, Trivangu hoya. So ye Murali bajaye. Hey, that I'm thinking. See, my son is Krishna. Is he Krishna? ड्रीम और So in this way, Nimai, when he was in the Bodhi Vidham, Nimai, then performed sweet lila. Many lila also there. Yeah. So now coming in this way, just I also told you, this Sachi Mata. After this, what are we saying? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he is telling, Jayadeva number, you are going to the Bodhi Vidham, and remind to my mother this katha. Yeah. What katha? The one day. Sachi Mata, she prepared many kinds of preparation, and especially two preparation he prepared. One is called mocha ghanta, and another loki. Dud loki. Ah, dud loki. Yes, nice. Dud lag loki. Lag loki. Answer. And Sachi Mata, she offered him Thakurji. Had Thakurji? Then Salak Gram Sir, there came Narayan. Okay. Yeah. Brahmana, they are they worship Narayan Sir. Yeah, innocent. They can worship other deities, but mainly they worship Narayan Sir. Yeah. 
So, Sajimata offering these three things, then outside Shivasi. And remembering Krishna, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, all these Vedas. And especially Sajimata is thinking if Nimai would stay with me, then he, he will be asked, Mom, give me, it will be more and more. And, and crying and crying. Remembering and completely absorbed. And Chaitanya is all Bali Ratatha. And like Mother Jasuda, see, and chanting the yogurt and singing Krishna's all sweet and childhood pastimes. So, the question is explained this way Jani Kani Jagit, Jani Kani Jagitani, Tadavala Kacharitani, Dodi Nirvantana Samaya. Sukhdeva Sahib is told, Jani Kani Jagitani, Tadvāl Kacharitani, and Dadi Nirmantana Samaya. When Mother Jasutha, she chant the yoga, and that time she is also remembering all Krishna's childhood, all pastimes, and she is singing very sweet rhythm. And Govinda Namo Dharma Dabhiti Govinda Namo Maybe two hours passed. Then after two hours passed, then she came in her Thakurji room. Then that time plate completely her empty. No any sign of any rice, then one grain rice or something, nothing. That plate completely her clean. And then Swachimata is thinking. Maybe I today I did not. <laughs> And I did not cook. Just take in my um, dream, I thinking I cook this, this, this. Then again she came in her, what is called? Kitchen. Kitchen. Then actually she cooked this thing because there is also a. Leftover. Unclean, no? Then she's completely confused. I cooked or not? But if I cook, what to talk with you? I'll talk with you. Then you think, maybe, maybe not. And then she again also cleaned the kitchen. And then again cooked everything and offered to Thakurji. Mahaprabhu told, actually, hey Jagadam, you are going to my mom, going to Jnabhati, and remind to mother, actually that time, when my mother offered, and actually that time I ate everything by my mother, so much bhatsal of her, Parental mode and present with me. For this girl, she was thinking, I did, uh, she did not. Actually, every day when my mother yeah. offered everything, I met it. Today I am with my mother. Why Mahapur is saying? They all are staying in Sachira Mandir and in the house of Sachira Malo jai sachi nanda